crisis is looming along the U.S. southern border. Asylum seekers are attempting to cross between the U.S. and Canada months after a controversial pact, also known as a safe third country agreement, was expanded in March. And the U.S.-Canada pact allows authorities to turn away migrants at unofficial points of entry. But charities warn closing these pathways will play into the hands of traffickers. Sammy Patterson reports in the first of our series on the U.S. border crisis. The remnants of a childhood thousands of miles away. The seven-year-old Musa Zine, these flimsy boxes are all he has left of life in Chad. Forced to flee their home for their safety, Musa and his family have their sights set on reaching relatives in Canada. But they have to travel through the U.S. And then they got stuck here, turned away at the northern border for not having the right papers. Time and time again. You have to bring a lawyer. We have people who run from our country, from where we can get a lawyer, from where we can get some money to afford a lawyer. We should zoom in my hand. I must have waited to you. I must have waited to you. With her husband detained back in Chad and her mother unable to escape, Aziza Kata told border officials she needed to reach an uncle living on the other side. She said, Yeah, I'm not sure she's a good. Like, they treat really poorly. Like, moving from the border to the hotel, moving to the border to the hotel again is really tough for her and tough for us. We shouldn't be treated like that. Aziza and her children are among the many asylum seekers to pass through this motel in Plattsburgh, upstate New York. Manager Nidhi Patel offers them a friendly reception, sometimes letting travellers who run out of money stay for free. I feel very bad.